Yo, 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 Road to 300 Kilos, episode number 42. We are back at it again. We got some cleans, plus three jerks, got some strict press, and got some clean deadlifts. Some good old classic deadlifts, you know what I'm saying? Trying to build that strength. Uh, if you guys haven't been following the channel very much, I am on a 10-week strength program from Mr. Clarence Kennedy. Uh, it's a main, it's a big focus on squats and deadlifts and pressing. So I kind of had a little bit of a hiatus from weightlifting for probably a couple months. You know, didn't do a ton. I was able to do some here and there, but I was super busy with life and with work. So uh, weightlifting had to take a little bit of a back seat. And right now I'm just trying to build that base back up. So uh, this is the second week. I've been doing a lot of squatting and a lot of pulling and a lot of pressing. It's been really good. Um, you know, my squat days usually consist of like seven sets of four paused for the first like four weeks of the program. And then, so I'll squat and then the next day I'll do some type of pulling, whether that be snatch deadlift or clean deadlift. And then the next day after that I'll front squat and then I got a rest day and then pulling and then squatting. So kind of alternating days of, of squatting and pulling. And then at the beginning of each session, I usually have, I usually have some snatching and some clean and jerk. Um, Today I just decided, so I've run this program before and on this day that you guys are watching I was supposed to be doing some muscle snatches, but in my last time that I ran this program I noticed, I noticed that, and it's probably just because I fucking suck at muscle snatches, but I noticed that my shoulder really started bothering me after doing muscle snatches, so I'm just cutting them out of the program pretty much completely. Um, and the shoulders felt pretty good because towards the beginning of the program the shoulder was bothering me a little bit But now it's been feeling really really good um, I'm sure these complexes with three jerks are gonna continue that trend, right? <laughs> so I, I think I work up to like 108 kilos for uh, three sets of, of clean plus three jerks and then and then we do some strict press at like uh right around 60 kilos for basically, I think they're supposed to be like four sets of uh, AMRAPs, which is a lot. Um, I'm hoping that since I'm cutting out the muscle snatches that the shoulders hold up. There's a lot of pressing in this program. I mean, you're talking like push press on Monday, strict press on Tuesday, and then push press again on Wednesday, and then strict press again on Friday. I'm pretty sure it's like you're doing some form of pressing every day and it's not, it's not a little bit of volume, it's a lot of bit of volume. So here's the first working set. Uh, the lower back was kind of bothering me a little bit when I woke up this morning on this particular, on this particular day. Uh, and then, so the cleans are a little, uh, a little wonky, they're not the best in the world. I like the way the jerks were. Uh, the big thing with the jerks you can see there is my fucking, my re-rack is, I haven't been re-racking a whole lot. I'm a little bit out of practice, so the re-racks are a little tough, but the actual jerks aren't too bad. Um, the re-racks are definitely, <laughs> are definitely the hardest part. But the cleans, I think, got better throughout the session. Let's, let's see here. Yeah, that one's not bad. And bang. I think the jerks even get better too, and the re-racks. You see there, it's a little bit more fluid. It's not crashing on me so much. The right, the right elbow, I'm gonna have to focus on really, really focusing on being a little snappy. There's a better, better lockout. But not too bad. I mean, the last time I ran Clarence's program, I noticed he has a big emphasis on doing uh, a lot of jerks. So, and then I, of course, my jerk got a lot stronger. So, it's nice that I still have this, uh, this conditioning to be able to do a lot of jerks. There's a really good one. I think this last set is the best one. Even the re-racks are a lot better. Yeah. I think this last one's pretty tough. I was getting pretty tired with these. The dip and drive was a slightly different. Definitely, uh, pushed me down and my change of direction was a lot slower in the dip and drive, but overall, very good little clean and jerk session. 
Uh, the max I ever end up doing for like ollie movements during the strength building program is like the max of like three sets. I never end up doing really more than that. I mean, heck, on Mondays you're doing like three sets of some kind of snatch complex and then I'm just working up to like a heavy double power clean and jerk. So I noticed that, you know, if I do have some sort of snatching or clean and jerking that day, one is kind of taking away from the other. That way you're not taxing your body too much, if that makes sense. So first set of AMRAP strict press here. I think I do uh, 12 reps, if I can count correctly. Probably not, but I ended up, I was sharing a bar with uh, Devin and she, she was doing snatch grip push press and we were kind of at similar weights uh, to do these AMRAP and that means, by the way, that means uh, as many reps as possible is kind of what AMRAP stands for, as many reps as possible. So I end up doing like 55 for a few sets and then I even jump up to, I even jump up to like 63 and I end up doing that for uh, eight, which is really, really good. The shoulder strength is already coming back. And I, uh, I'm glad to report that the shoulders are not bothering me. Uh, even the forearm, as I'm recording this, the forearm feels pretty good too. And if you've watched some of my videos before, you notice that I'm a little bitch when it comes to my left forearm. I don't know what it is, but sometimes, sometimes that shit be flaring up. Sorry, I'm yelling. Jesus, I don't know why I'm yelling. Mm. So eight reps here at 63. And this is a women's bar. It might look like that's 68, but this is a women's bar. I just decided to work in with her. We haven't been able to train much, uh, train together very much. And we used to train together a lot. So it was kind of fun to just like screw around and work in with her and use a women's bar. It's actually really nice to be able to use a women's bar, not gonna lie. Uh, so here's kind of the first, so this is just the last warm up set for the clean deadlifts. I'm supposed to do five by five at 140. So this is, uh, this is 128 kilos and just do it for a few reps feel it out because like I said the lower back was a little weird uh, the past couple days so I just wanted to feel it out and see see if the lower back was gonna hold up and it actually felt really good I was kind of a uh, was kind of surprised that the lower back felt as good as it did doing these pulls but that's a good thing 140 for 5x5 five five, I'm pretty happy with that I'm hoping you know I've never been a very good deadlifter, so I'm hoping I'm hoping after this program I can see the deadlift numbers go up a little bit, just see the strength go up a little bit. I don't know what it is, but I've just never, deadlift's never been my thing. I really like squatting and pressing, but deadlifting, I don't think I could ever do powerlifting just because I, I just... I don't know what it is. I'm always scared. I've hurt my before I got before I ever got coached, and when I first got into some serious lifting, I hurt my back deadlifting, and I guess ever since then, it's always in the back of my mind that I'm always worried about my form, and then I just overthink, and then it's just not fun at that point. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but uh, every time I deadlift, I just kind of am dreading it. I'm just always worried that I'm gonna hurt myself, and that's never a good feeling. So. But with these clean deadlifts, I'm able to focus a little bit more on technique and uh, treating it more like an ollie movement. So I'm pushing more through the floor. And I don't know why I can't transition that over to like a standard conventional deadlift. But maybe when I go to do conventional deadlift, I'll just do fucking clean deadlifts. Screw it. And I guess, you know, the big difference between clean deadlifts is you're kind of squatting down more and you're using a little bit more of your quads. Uh, you're a little bit more over the bar. So, to, you know, to mimic a clean, so. Uh, maybe we'll have to just say screw it and do that whenever I deadlift with the boys, because Trent is a little biatch when it comes to conventional deadlift, and I don't like sumo, I screw that stuff. Took the glasses off. They were, uh, it was like a rainforest in the, in the gym this day. It was humid. But pretty good reps, I can't complain. Definitely could scoop it a little bit more and treat it a little bit more like a clean. Not scoop it, scoop it's not the right word, but like hit that power position a little bit better. Uh, just below the hips. When I go to, you know, like on a regular clean, when you're about to go to your full extension, you're kind of hitting this pocket in, your, uh, in the power position on your 
on your pull on the way up and on some of these wraps I'm not really hitting that pocket like I want to so that's gonna, definitely gonna have to be something that I focus on some of these later reps are a little bit better I try to focus on a little bit more because the whole time I'm kind of like just kind of going through the motions and to some extent that's that's fine because at the end of the day I'm gonna be building strength doing this right but I also want it to be intentional and it to carry over to weightlifting a little bit more so one more set of five and then we are out of here man this was a pretty uh pretty solid little day it's been nice to actually get back into regular training been able to train four or five times a week these past couple weeks it's been super super nice uh trying to get stronger and it also just is nice mentally get rid of that some of that stress get some of those endorphins running through the brain you know what i'm saying um if you guys have made it this far in the video i don't know what to tell you i'm sorry i'm sorry you guys listened to this dumbass for the past 10 minutes but i appreciate you anyway uh, next session will probably be a squatting session uh back squats paused lots of sets lots of reps and we're looking forward to it squatting is the best and that's how we get stronger right gotta crush that spine and get some of those growth hormones to move throughout the body anyway i'm out of here see ya